Hello from FantaBH. As maybe many of you knows, newest computers, especially laptops, very often are built as uh, UEFI only. What that mean? It means that you can install or reinstall or uh, do repair to your computer operating system by booting from clean UEFI external boot devices as, as are uh, USB sticks or USB drives or, or whatever. But what can happen when you follow some online instructions and attempt to create Windows 10 clean UEFI USB disk. Most likely you're going to face a very common problem. And uh, if you don't know, that happens because clean UEFI USB disk can be created only by using USB drive which contains FAT32 file system. As I know, latest Windows 10 ISO image downloaded from official Microsoft website, which uh, actually can fit to FAT32 file system, is 1903 version. That happens because uh, latest Windows 10 ISO images contain files which are larger than 4 GB and FAT32 file system limitation for single file is 4 GB. You could notice in my previous videos that I use uh, Rifus software for creating uh, many different boot disks. For me, it's uh, the best software for that kind of job. For you, maybe it's not the best, but for sure, it's one of the best. I will provide link uh, below in description, even I know if you type uh, Rifus into your browser, you will get to download page. So, in this video, I will show, so you can learn, how to manipulate uh, Windows 10 ISO image, images to make uh, them smaller. So, at the end, uh, to be able to build your own clean UEFI only boot disk. First step uh, you should do is uh, get yourself uh, on Windows 10 ISO image from Microsoft website so you can use it to build your own uh, clean UEFI bootable media. Next step would be extract the uh, largest file from ISO image which is called uh, install.wim it's located in ISOM image uh, source directory there you can just sort uh, by size and you will find it as the largest file remember where you save it uh, that file don't forget it then start command prompt with uh, administrator privileges because without administrator privileges you will not be able to use commands we're going to use the first command on the screen is command we're going to use in order to show all content of uh, install.vim file so we can uh, make choice about which installation we're going to use to create our UEFI boot disk.
in my case I will use uh, installation under number 3 that is uh, Windows 10 Enterprise 64 bits you can use whatever you choose and uh, it doesn't mean that you will have same content as I have in my install vim file so next command which we're going to use is uh, shown on the screen I'm sorry hard to spell commands uh, for me so I just showing them this command uh, will extract exact uh, installation from the install vim file into new file so maybe new file will be uh, less than 4 gigabytes and maybe it will allow you to use it to create uh, UEFI boot disk as you can see in this case uh, Windows 10 Enterprise extracted from uh, latest install vim file which coming with latest uh, Windows 10 ISO file does not fitting a 32 bit system you can use uh, first command just a little modify to check what is in new created file as you see in my case uh, it's now only Windows 10 Enterprise version but still it does not fit the uh, FAT32 file system this command is what we need and this command will split install the Twim into two or more files where neither one file will not be larger than 4 gigabytes so in that case we will be able to use it to create a UEFI boot disk wall process after you execute this command is not shown on the screen screen will just stay blank till command is not successfully finished then you can check location where files are saved and you will see in this case two files one is exact exactly four gigabytes and another is much smaller but uh, what to do now with those files now you need to use the two files uh, and replace original install.vim file inside of iso image so uh, you going to delete install.vim file from the image and to add these two files into iso image so after you add files to the ISO image check if uh, added files are there because uh, sometimes mistakes can happen and when you are sure that files are there you should save this but uh, don't overwrite your original ISO file just save it another name and maybe another location so you have both files uh, in case something goes wrong whole process of saving new ISO file will take just less than a minute in my case depend of uh, speed of your computer I don't saying that my computer is the fastest I mean it's just moderate nothing special so only thing at the end left is to check if you can create now uh, with this new ISO image new UEFI boot disk and as you can see FAT32 option is enabled and everything as it should be UEFI only GPT partition scheme so well done
you can now create your own clean UFE boot disc. Thank <music> you.